just got back from a trip to Georgia, a business trip. A little bit of business, a little bit of pleasure. And I was determined to find some tool or something to add to my collection during my week away. And <clears throat> I was shopping Craigslist for all kinds of things. And ended up stopping at an antique uh, flea market kind of thing. You know, the kind of places you go in and there's all these cabinets and areas of antiques and it's a bunch of subletters and... and um, Anyways, I found something really interesting. Found what looks like a hatchet, but it's really, I think, like a small boy's axe head. Uh, in pretty good shape, fairly thin. Um, it's got a beard. I like stuff with a beard, just appeals to me. But here's the interesting thing on the back. I hope this is coming into focus. On the back, Miller's Falls, two and a quarter pound, number 9261, and you can see faintly there, made in USA. Um, so I recognized this as a vintage tool brand, and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. You know, I like old American iron. So this certainly qualifies as old American iron. Now, I did a lot of research on the internet, and while there were a few people that had axes and maybe hatchets uh, uh, made by Miller's Falls. There was no one that had any history or any advertising brochures or anything like that. Um, so I don't really know the history of these or what years they were made. It's got a part number on it. Maybe someday somebody will stick something up and I'll be able to figure it out. I gave 30 bucks for this, um, which is uh, definitely not a steal, probably about the going rate for one of these heads. I'm not giving the handle any really any value at all. This is uh, some kind of hammer handle or something that somebody butched up to get in here. So I intend to get rid of this short handle, which is probably 14 inches, and pair this with uh, um, something that's uh, 22 to 24 inches, like a like a boy's axe. And it's not super sharp, but it's definitely useful, just like it is. I think it's probably something a little heavy to carry. But for an expedition, or where you have conveyance, I might take something like this on a long canoe trip where you can afford the weight of a heavier tool. So, latest acquisition. I thought it was cool. This is a video I'm going to put up right away. A lot of my videos are coming out at a delay. I've just got so many filmed and spent so little time editing them. Um, but uh, I'm heading to the Bushcraft meetup. The Kenneth Cram, Bob 808 night. A Bill in the Hills bushcraft meetup down in Tennessee. And I thought I should get something up a little more in tune with that before I go. And uh, another look at it. I think this will make a great, great chopper, great all around. Love to find a Miller's Falls that was a little smaller. And if you know anything about this brand, I mean, they, they make a lot of hand crank drills and drill. Uh, bits and a lot of things like that. Um, I know they were sold to China around 2002. I did find that information. Um, but since this says made in USA, it predates that, which is awesome. It's nice to have something made with American hands. Just how soft is this stump anyways? Wow, that's pretty bad. Makes an axe look great, though. <laughs> 